Hello everyone and welcome to my video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about uh, power quality measurement devices and especially we will study in this video lecture about uh, true RMS meters. Now why we require true RMS meters? For waveforms rich in harmonics, the average and peak value would be considerably different than waveforms that are purely sinusoidal or close to sinusoidal. The RMS value of the current or voltage can be substantially different from the fundamental component of the voltage or current. Measuring the average or peak value of signal and scaling the values to derive a RMS value would lead to errors. In normal RMS meter, we are measuring either average value or peak value and then it is converted into RMS value and then meter indicates the RMS value of the applied signal. But in case of harmonic rich waveform because of distortion if we measure the average or peak value of a signal and then if it is scaled down to the RMS value then definitely it will give the wrong value. For example let us consider one square wave. We have average value as well as peak value and both are 100 ampere. The average and peak reading meters indicates 101 ampere and 70.7 ampere RMS value because the ratio between the RMS and average value of pure sinusoidal waveform is 1.11. Now average value reading meter will measure 100 ampere and it will multiply it with 1.11 and then RMS value will be given as 111 ampere. Same way 0 0.707 ratio between RMS value and peak value of pure sinusoidal waveform. So peak value reading meter will measure 100 ampere peak value and it will multiply with 0 0.707 and then it will give or it will indicate RMS value as 70.7 ampere. So in both the case it will give RMS value with error. Analog panel meters give error in reading while measuring non-sinusoidal current or voltage. Due to higher frequency component, analog meter tend to indicate a value that are less than the actual value. True RMS meters overcome this problem by deriving the heating effect of the waveform to produce an accurate RMS value indication. Otherwise also, in case of RMS value consideration, we understand it is in the form of heating effect also. Most true RMS meters do not provide any indication of the waveform of the quantity being measured. To accomplish this, the meters require high frequency signal sampling capability. The sampling rate should satisfy Nyquist criteria in order to produce reasonably accurate results. In some of the true RMS meters, ports are provided and which can be connected directly with the computer and then we can observe the waveforms also. And that depends on very high frequency signal sampling capability of the meter. If we satisfy Nyquist criteria, then it can produce a very accurate waveform or very near to the accurate and the 
indication of the RMS value also. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.